Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm going to be doing a big happy planner spread for the week of July 27th through August 2nd. This is for one of my patrons on Patreon. She's at a higher level, so every month I create a spread for her. It's been so fun to do that, and I mail it to her, and she's loved every one, which is great. Um, so, But I always get a little bit nervous when I do these, so these videos might take a little bit longer because I'm always afraid, like, you know, if you're creating it for somebody else, it's like you really, like, have to be sure they're going to like it. So I hope she likes this one because I'm using... A new sticker book I got. Now you're watching, I'm filming this July 6th and you're watching it at the end of July. So I had gotten all of these new sticker books and I haven't really been able to use them in a video because I am like three weeks out on my videos. Like I've been really good at trying to get my videos filmed ahead of time so that when I want to take a break or I need to go on vacation, they're done. So if you see like a delay between when I get new sticker books and when I use them, that is why. So this is the first time I'm using this sticker book it's the layered, layered florals which is so pretty and this is like different themes kind of like it's kind of like a color story sticker book except it's layered florals so they come in different themes so this is the theme I'm going to be using because I just think it's super pretty these colors are so nice and I know it might be a little fallish sort of but I think it's going to look really really cute and I have the pages from Teresa Collins' Big Planner, and there's these peach lines. So I think it'll all go because there's a lot of peach in here. So hopefully Nicole will like it. So let's get started. I also pulled out a couple of washi tapes. I got these from the washi tape shop when they sent me all those tapes, and I haven't used them yet. And they're kind of peachy, so I thought that they would really go well with these colors. So I just pulled them out and we're gonna see what we can do here. Um, these are gonna be linked in the description box below. I link everything now. So if you guys ever need something that's not linked, let me know, but I'm really trying to link all the products now, the sticker books, the washi, all of that, so that you guys have a way to get it. Most of the time it's gonna be affiliate links. So keep that in mind, I get a very small percentage of your purchase, but it doesn't cost you a dime. So I'd appreciate it if you use my links. Okay. So I think, I think we can put this like right on top of this peach line. I don't think I need to cover it up with whiteout or anything. And I'm not going to put this all over the whole thing because I think it's just going to be too much. So I think I'm just going to start, which I do this sometimes. I'm going to rip this. So I'm gonna start with like a little bit on that line and then we're gonna see what, um, where else I'm gonna put it. But I'm like I said, I'm not gonna put it on every single line because sometimes I just think that's too much. Sometimes I do it though. And I'm gonna take this polka dot one. I think this time I am gonna do it like this. I'm gonna sort of put, usually if I put washi tape there I'll put it here to kind of match but this time I'm going to use it on a bunch of lines but just not the whole line so we're just gonna rip it a little bit that might be a little too short we'll see just just to like put and I'm going to put this one up here maybe I'll put this one all the way up here actually um just to kind of create like a little bit of interest on some of these lines that are so neutral just to kind of give it a different look I don't know we'll see how it goes I usually don't regret putting down washi tape but also if I do regret it it's so super easy to pull back up that it's not a big deal at all so let's put this one Um, let's put this one under this line. This is obviously a little more in your face than that really delicate polka dot one, but I think it's going to work. Okay. 
always have little scraps of washi tape around. Okay, like I said, this is much more noticeable. You don't see this as much, but hopefully it's all gonna come together and I can always add more if I need to. So now let's check out this book. We have some layered boxes, obviously, because this is layered florals. Some of these single flowers. I'm definitely using some of this, probably this one, because it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna use some of these boxes, maybe a quote, and actually I might bring in some colorful boxes as well. I don't know if I'm gonna to stick to only this book, but let's try it and see what happens. So the first thing I'm gonna do then is use this big, I know this is like a lot of this color, but I'm hoping it'll all balance out in the end because it says there's so many reasons to smile. And I think that's a super important message. And also it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna stick it up here in the corner on Monday. So pretty. Okay, so since I have that big sticker there, I'm gonna balance it out with a big sticker down here. You don't have to do it that way, but sometimes I like to. Um, I am gonna give Nicole a space for gratitude because I think she does um, like write gratitude in her planner. So. I usually put gratitude down here, but we can move that around for her. It doesn't have to be down in the corner. I don't always do it that way. Now, this is gonna bring in like a big sticker and it's busy, but it's not gonna balance this color because this is so much color here. So I'm kind of counting on other stickers to balance that and I hope I can do it. Let's stick this down in this corner and I'm gonna just go overlap the washi tape a little bit that's slightly crooked. Oh no, you know what, I'm gonna leave it. I know that some of you have noticed this and I have too, that um, it's definitely harder to pull stickers up off this new paper. They've changed the paper a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna bring in some undo because if it were my spread, I would leave it, but I feel bad leaving it for Nicole because it's like, um, you know, it's too crooked. It's really not bad, but since it's not my spread, like I said. So we're gonna pull that up. I'm gonna use this little tool that someone gave me. This is, I believe, oh, I forget. I forget what brand this is. I don't have a link to this, but I do link a palette knife in my Amazon shop and it's pretty much the same deal. Like it's. With a palette knife, it's really easy to pull stickers up as well. Um, just to get under there. Uh oh, this is ripping, you guys. All right, that was a fail. We're gonna leave it crooked. Sorry, Nicole, it's slightly crooked. Like, it's not enough that it would bother me, but it might bother you. And if it does, I'm really sorry. I would just rather, let me try one more time. I just don't wanna rip this paper because obviously that would be worse than having a crooked sticker, but maybe I can do it from this angle. No, it's definitely ripping the paper. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm also gonna leave that little fail in here so that you guys know we're not all perfect. And sometimes undo obviously doesn't even work, which is weird. Um, it's never happened before, but, oh man, that's gonna drive me absolutely nuts. But let's leave it. Maybe when it's all done, we won't even notice it. Hopefully Nicole won't notice it. But if she's watching this video, she will. So that's the way it goes, I guess, okay. So we are gonna add in some boxes before we do anything else, any other decorating, definitely bringing in boxes. Um, I think that this box and this box are gonna balance out this. So let's go in, let's put this box down first. It's gonna balance that color out, which is what we need. And I kind of want it either there or there. Um, let's put it down here. I'm just 
gonna put it right in the box there. It's gonna butt up to that washi tape, but that's all right. We could also bring in some of this color washi tape. I wonder if I have any like burgundy. That would be kind of cool. Let's see if I have any burgundy or maroon or whatever this is, skinny washi. Okay, I do. This one has stars. But I also have this one, which is like a scallop. But it's not exactly the color. Like this is more the right color even though it's got stars on it, but I don't know if that matters so much. I think I'm gonna bring in some of this. So let's put this back. I don't know the brand. I don't know if this is Happy Planner. It looks like Happy Planner because it has a white inside, but I cannot guarantee that. Um, so let's maybe put, should I do that? Maybe put it on these lines. I don't know. I don't want to put it on every line. Maybe at the top and I kind of like it against this washi. Let's put it here to bring some of this color down the page. I know I'm wasting some of that. I don't know why I did that. And we're gonna also put it up here. We'll see what that looks like if I only use it in those two places. And I don't have to white out that peach line under it because this is so dark that you'll never notice that. Oops, I didn't do that correctly. It's okay, it's okay. All right, so we'll leave that there for now and then I'll put this over on the side in case I need to add some more. Okay, so far cute, right? I think adding that in really helped with my feelings of balance, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna bring in this color, just this pretty green, um, but we're also gonna bring in a bunch of these layered floral boxes. So I just have to make sure that the color is gonna be balanced out. Um, so I think I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this one on this side. Well, wait. Yeah, because like this is the only other one like this and I'm gonna put that on this side to balance out that type of box, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put it, my instinct is to go here, but all right, I'm gonna put it here. And I am just doing like it like in the middle of the box and I don't always do it that way. Sometimes I overlap the lines. Sometimes I put it in the middle, it just depends. Now this is a big happy planner and we have classic size stickers, but it's okay to have a little bit of white around the outside. That is not a big deal. This one I'm gonna put over a line um, and we'll have this for Saturday bring it down a little bit. Maybe we'll put lines up here. That's pretty good, okay. Now, although now we have that color directly across from that color. Were you guys thinking that? Bringing in the undo again. Let's see if I have better luck with the paper sticker. I kind of wish the Happy Planner went back to their old paper, but it's still good paper. It doesn't like, I don't have any problem with bleed through of um, pen or anything like that, but it just is a little bit harder to pull up stickers. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna use this palette knife, which is kind of the one I was telling you about in my Amazon shop. I'm just going to do that. If you're new to undo, I know it's scary to pour liquid onto your paper. Um, I hesitated for so long to do this, but it is like magic liquid. This is always in my Amazon shop. If you click down below to the Amazon link, you can find that. I might have it linked as a separate item as well, I'm not sure. So we're gonna let that dry for a second. 
and I'm going to move that up to the top and I'll probably put lines here. All right, let's keep going. So we're going to bring in this pink color and you can use these like this, or you can use these like this. It doesn't matter. I think I'm going to use it this way. So if I put that one there, let's see how I feel about this. I feel like it would go well if it was right there. So let's do that. And I'm gonna have lines here. Sometimes it's hard to like think about where these lines are going. I'm gonna use like the checklist stencil because I know that um, Nicole likes the lines as well. So that's always a good thing. All right, let's see if this is dry enough. That's pretty good. So let's move this up top. Maybe I'll just put it all the way up or against that line. I don't know. Let's see. I'll just put it like this. Okay. I will have lines here, here, here. Let me do that now before I forget. Um, I don't always do that, but I wanna make sure I have enough, I leave enough space for the lines and don't forget since it's not my planner page. Okay, I'm gonna use the Muji .38, which I've been loving. If you saw my Muji pen review, um, I talk about the .38s and the .5s. I just got these. I will link it in, hopefully I'll remember to link it as a card up at the top right here. So if you wanna watch that video, you can. I really enjoy these pens. Um, I still love the Pentel Energel as well, but I am really liking the Muji just for a change of pace. Okay, I am gonna do this. I'm wondering if I should use the boxes or not boxes for this time. I think I'm gonna go with just the lines this time for a change of pace. Okay. And when you're using this checklist stencil, which by the way is also down below, um, you just have to be quick. Like I know people have talked about this and said, how do you do the lines so good on this you have to draw them pretty quickly or it'll kind of mess up so that's what I try to do I just try to do it as quickly as I can and just make sure you start all the way at the corner okay so I'm gonna actually do the lines over here as well, just so I know where they are before I start. So I guess I'll do here, here, and probably there. And you don't have to put lines on every day, you know? I mean, I don't put lines on every day all the time. And it's funny because when I started using the Happy Planner, I didn't use this checklist stencil at all. It sat in the package for long time and then the one day I pulled it out because I needed some to-do lists and I thought well let me try this and I was like hooked I just think like I have used those um the checklist like stickers before and sometimes I still will use them but I just don't like the look of it as much especially before the pen like I don't know, I take photos for Instagram before I write in the planner. So for me, oh, I messed that one up. For me, I just really like having the before the pen look really pretty and this is part of that for me. Okay, so it already transformed it, didn't it? Like if you ask me, like it's pretty already and we could just stop now, but we're not going to because I'm extra, so let's keep going and do some more. Okay, I feel like I need a box on Wednesday, a box on Sunday, and probably one on Monday as well. So 
since there's a couple of layer boxes on this side, I'm going to want to put one on one or two on this side. I don't think I want to bring in this color because it's so much, it's so dark, but definitely this one. And I think instead of putting it here, because there's like some of that color there, I'm going to put it over here. And I think I'm going to butt it up here and like just cover some of that washi tape just for fun. It's going to go right up to that washi, which is okay with me. Let's see. I'm not doing a lot of layering this time, although there are layered boxes already. Maybe that's why I'm not doing it, but we'll see. So I'm not sure I even need a box on Monday, although she might want one. There's also these smaller ones. Maybe we can do that. Let's do a smaller one on Monday. I wonder if I should bring in more green. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's put this one over here on Sunday. And then I guess balance it out with this one. I guess that's probably too much, right? I guess I'll put it down here for balance purposes. Okay, put this one back. Now we have to worry about the sidebar too. There are a couple blank boxes here, which isn't a bad thing, but there are these flowers. There's these ones and there's this page of stuff. And then there's these. I could put a few flowers around the page. I don't know if it's going to bring too much busyness into it because there's already like a lot down here, but let's think about this. Like I said, also we're needing to, to remember, I want to remember to use the sidebar. What if we put, this is kind of crazy, but what if I put these off the edge of the sidebar and then like, something on top of it like a box or something I don't know we need to white out this notes because nobody likes that all right maybe some people do but I don't I don't know why it's there I know Nicole likes things super neutral as well um without a lot of extras you know so her she and I have very similar planning styles which is kind of cool I guess that's why she wants me to make her spreads, but um, so I don't have to worry too much when I'm doing this because I have a feeling she's going to like what I do because her style is so similar to mine. So it's kind of neat. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to add it and I don't know. Let's just see how it looks. Hopefully it'll look good because I'm not sure I want to pull it up. I'm taking it off the side because I think I don't want that dark green there. So let's cut it off. Uh oh, are these scissors not sharp enough? Let's get my sharp scissors. So I can't believe you guys are watching this like at the end of July. Right now it's July 6th. I just, we just had 4th of July. And I feel like, I, like I like getting ahead on my videos, but also it's a little weird because I can't really talk about like current stuff because you're watching it so late. So it's like, you know, part of me sort of wants to do that, but then the other part of me is like, well, I wanna get ahead. Because if I'm ahead, I feel good. Like, it feels better. Like, I have a buffer. You know what I mean? Because putting out, like, daily videos is very, very difficult. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it for much longer. Um, but we'll see. Depending. All right. Um, so, I do want a box here for her. And I think we're probably going to have to bring in a 
colorful boxes, like I said. Let's look. Let's look in the um, this monthly colorful boxes book. I just got another one of these, and I wonder. I wonder if any of these colors are going to match. Probably not. Um, I don't want to bring in black at this point. I guess I'm looking for a peach. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's check out the OG colorful boxes for peach. And of course, I've used like all the peach. There's so much peach in these Happy Planner books that it's like, I just keep using all of the peach. Let's try this colorful boxes book. This is the um, copper foil one. Look at this one might be, well, I don't know, that's so much. Also, wouldn't I wanna, I should have layered florals over the box. What was I thinking? That's an issue. Maybe we don't put a box there. Maybe we put a box on the bottom and then on the top, I'll just put a header and then she can just write on here. Is that, is that doable, Nicole? <laughs> I hope so. How about focus on? So we'll do like a priority list for you or self care or something. I feel like focus on is pretty much a neutral message that can kind of be used for anything. So, you know, if you want to write your grocery list there, maybe not, but it's okay. That also balances out the green. So I'm cool with that. I, I know this ended right at this washi tape line and I'm wondering what it would look like if I pulled it all the way across, but I think it might look weird. Let's try it though. I feel like it looks like a mistake so let's not do that how about these other ones though we don't have to put washi there you know I kind of like to finish off sections of my sidebar with washi though do I want that one or do I want this one it's kind of pretty but a little bold let's go with this one get this other it's funny when I when I film these so far in advance like and then I read the comments and you guys are like haha that happened I have no idea what you're talking about I have to go back and like rewatch sometimes like oh that was so funny what you did I'm like what did I do <laughs> oh, I wish I could just like film it and then put it up that day but it doesn't work for my schedule that way it's too much all right um so do we need a box down there or maybe a little quote or something? Let's see. This is pretty, it just doesn't fit. Neither does that. Um, I think this is pretty, but it doesn't fit and also the wrong colors. I mean, it doesn't have to come from this book. Uh, let's think. Or I just put a pretty box down there and call it a day. Will that fit that part? I don't know. Let's let's go into the new Happy Quotes book. Maybe there's something in there. I don't know. I think this is going to be the wrong style, though. You know, like this is very elegant and this is like whimsical. I just wanted to use a sticker from this new book because it's so cute. What about these? Just do the thing. Depends on how productive she wants to be this week. Those are cute. All right, that's not gonna work. So let's go in another quote book. Let's just check out the quotes books. Um, We've got Happy Quotes 
and the original happy quotes and the gold star quotes. Let's look in this one. I think the colors aren't really going to go, but I'm not sure a black quote is the way to go at this point because it's so um, dark compared to the rest of the spread. Let me look in gold star quotes. Like, I like that they're using bigger quotes now, but like sometimes they're not gonna fit in the sidebar, you know what I mean? I know where we can look. Let's look in Wild Styled and the Teresa Collins. Um, Wild Styled and Teresa Collins uh, Be Happy box book has um, peach stuff. But I don't know if this has like peach quotes necessarily. This has gold in it, which probably isn't going to work for me. Although I did say that she needed a place for her gratitude, didn't I? And I didn't include that. So maybe that's a gratitude section down there. Now that I'm thinking of it. What about this one? Is it going to be too much peach? Because this would bring in the gratitude. I don't know. I don't know. Um, or she could put her gratitude here, depending on how much she's got going on during the week. Let's see. Okay, where's the wild style? I don't know if that any of that is going to match, but... I've got sticker books piled up again, so the wild style is not in my reach. Okay, let's think about this. What if I put this here and then put a couple flowers around it to make it a little less peachy? Um. Let's try it. I'm gonna stick this on my hand first. It's a trick I learned from, I think a subscriber told me about this. You get, it's kind of gross. You get like the oils from your hand and it, it just like isn't as sticky so that if you wanna remove it after that, it's okay. Um, sorry if that was gross, Nicole. <laughs> I don't think so, but you never know how some people might think is gross, but um, okay. So let's put that there and then Maybe put flowers behind it. Maybe some of these paper backed flowers. Um, what about like a maroon one? Is that like too much maroon on this side then? Maybe, because there's all this. So maybe we need like pink to balance this out because there's really not any of that now that I'm thinking of it. Now that I'm thinking of that's bothersome. So we need pink. Um, I guess this, this isn't the greatest. How about that clear one that I just saw? Um, this one, I know it's big. Also brings a lot of green in over here, but it's okay. I could overlap it and just kind of carry it into those flowers there. I don't know. Let's try it. A little busy. I think it's cute. 
cute though. I think it's cute. What do you guys think? You think it's cute? I think so. Um, I would love to use this somewhere, but it kind of doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. And, and then like when I stop this video, I'm gonna think about it some more. I kind of wish I didn't have those leaves there and I had just, let's see if I can pull that up right now. Like what if I just only had the pink and the peach and then I'm gonna try cutting this off now. I'm gonna try cutting it while it's on here. And then if I don't like it cut, then I can put the leaves back um, like where I found it. I don't know. It's gonna be really hard to cut while it's sticking down here. I'm nervous about this, but if it doesn't work, I'll just put it back on there, I guess, right? Uh, maybe this is a mistake, but I am all about taking chances. I just cut the, I just cut that part of that peach flower off though. Anyway, I'm all about taking chances when it comes to planning and even if I'm doing another person's spread because sometimes those spreads are the ones that come out the best when you take chances, right? And sometimes they don't, but if they don't, there's always next week, except for when you're making a spread for somebody else. And then it's like, wah. Um, let's see. Hmm. I think I like that better. I don't know. Maybe I don't. I think I'm gonna put it back on. Let's match it up perfectly so it looks like I didn't do anything. Or try to anyway. There, it looks like I never did a thing. Okay. <laughs> um, so I think I'm done, but since I added so much to this side, it's looking a little empty right there. But I, I feel like if I add any flowers, then I have to add them somewhere else. So I don't know that I wanna go that direction. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it alone because I think it's really pretty as is. And I, whoa, that doesn't go on that. Um, I think it's really pretty as is. And it's okay if the busyness doesn't match completely because as Nicole writes in it throughout the week, it's gonna get busier, right? So she can balance it out as she goes. I think I'm gonna leave this July, August here because it matches the spread. So it's cool. All right, Nicole, I hope you love it. I actually really love it. I think it's so elegant and pretty. I love that I added this maroon washi tape in because I think it really made everything else pop. So let me know in the comments what you guys think and stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. Talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.